Marketers who don't use Claud Code are going to be absolutely cooked. But if you do learn how to use Claud Code, you're going to be way ahead of other marketers. You're going to make way more money for your business. Guaranteed, this is your command center that's going to allow you to do things. You're going to have superpowers that you didn't have before. So let's get into it. So first and foremost, what I want to call it here is that when people talk about agents, it seems like this nebulous thing, right? But what you can see over here where my cursor is, is I have this A-B test orchestrator sub-agent over here where basically the objective for this agent is to come up with different A-B test ideas, right? So you can see over here, data analysis and hypothesis generation, that's your job, test design and deployment, test monitoring and analysis, reporting and knowledge management, operational guidelines, and output format, right? And it says when working on a task, always ask for access to relevant GA4, so Google Analytics and Google Search, Google Search Console data or reports. Clarify the business goals and key metrics before pro proposing hypotheses. Be transparent about statistical limitations and required test durations. So this is beautiful over here. And this is a sub-agent that was created and you think it might be very complex to create this. I'm going to show you how you can do this in a second, but you can see it's, it's very straightforward. You're an expert A-B testing strategist and data scientist specializing in conversion rate optimization. Through systematic experimentation, you excel at transforming analytics insights into actionable test hypotheses hypotheses and managing the complete testing uh, life cycle, right? So I'm actually going to show you one of the things that you can do here. So this is here's one of the A-B test orchestrators over here. This is just me playing around with it, right? And so some of the ideas that I'll come up with over here, I was messing around with it and it said, okay, let, let, let's say it's, it's, it's scanned through your website, okay? And it figured out that one of your core goals is to get free consultations for your business or more leads ultimately. So then it figures out, okay, well, it seems like you have a big, your conversion rate sucks with this modal. So we have this modal on our website that doesn't convert that well, okay? So only 248 conversions out of 71,000 opens in the last 30 days or so. So it's saying, hey, target improvement here is 40%. Let, let's, let's do that. Let's get it from 0.35% to 0.49% and let's get a sample of 89,000 model modal opens per variant. So test duration here is 14 days, okay? Basically, it's saying, hey, let's go ahead and change the modal to this. Let's simplify it. And this is one of the tests over here. I didn't really give it much of a spec. I, I mean, I basically dictated this out using Super Whisper, which is the tool that I use to dictate. And then it, it pulled this super agent or the sub agent over here and it came up with this idea. And then here's a couple other ideas over here. And in fact, what's going on right now, we're not implementing this idea, but we are implementing one of the ideas that it came up with the other day. But this is just an example of high leverage that you're going to get working quickly quickly analyze your data, figure out what your goals are, and then determine, okay, here's the hypotheses, here's the outcome that we're looking for, and here's how long it's going to take. So I didn't need to dictate that overall, right? And there's a lot more that go goes into this. It actually came up with ideas around impact, confidence, ease in terms of scoring and prioritizing different ideas that it has. And again, I didn't ask it to do that. It was, it naturally behaved as a CRO scientist, right? And so this is an example of, of what you can do. And let me show you, I'm going to give you another one over here. So we have this SEO conversion optimizer over here. And it basically created a programmatic SEO page for me here. And so what I had actually done was I said, hey, this is what one of our programmatic landing pages looks like. Can you make a page following this format for B2B marketing automation? So it actually drafted it out over here and it does seem to follow the structure of that page. Now imagine you as an ideas person, you as a marketing leader, or even you as a founder, if you want to get something done really quickly, you can push it to maybe one step before production, but you can get it right there. You can review it very quickly and have your team move a lot faster. And so ultimately we're going to be able to, to, to create things a lot faster. We're going to be able to, able to move a lot faster and and that's the beauty of this, right? I think with this, this sub agent over here, it actually hooked in with Ahrefs MCP too. So the, the SEO tool, and we're just looking at trending upward content that doesn't necessarily have a lot of volume, pull the keyword difficulty as one, give me a future score. And it justified why, it, why it's good, right? And so there's some good stuff in here that we might want to go after, such as like, let's say, I don't know, um, some, some type of B2B keywords, right? Or LLM personalization, personalized B2B marketing automation. Maybe there's, there's not volume for it right now, but there is going to be volume for it, right? And so, but the, the main thing here is that I have the strategy that's working for me. And this is the SEO conversion optimizer. And so this, this one over here, and by the way, if you leave a comment um, saying prompts, we'll leave the prompts for these, these different, um, these different sub agents that we have. And there's, there's actually a list of 12 marketing sub agents that I think are, are really important. There's like, there's one that's going to be for content repurposing, which I'm going to make with you for a second. So stay till the end, but this one over here. So you're an expert SEO strategist and conversion optimization specialist with deep expertise in analyzing search data to drive business outcomes. Your primary focus is identifying identifying keyword opportunities that balance search potential with conversion likelihood, specifically for service-based businesses seeking consultation submissions, which is my business, right? So I got single grain, I got carrot, the, the, the software. Um, so they'll take a look at GSC, Google Search 
console, Google Analytics, Ahrefs to create a comprehensive view. And you can continue to adjust these prompts over time if you want to, um, but this is just what it came up with, right? And so why I say it's important for you to figure out how to use Claude Code. So I, I'm in Cursor right now, but I am using Claude Code. Claude Code actually allows you to create these sub-agents and then Cursor allows you to hook in these MCPs. So MCPs allow an ID, like a cursor, to talk to different apps that you have. So for me, what, and I've kind of listed some of these over here because you don't want to want, want too many of these running at the same time, otherwise it's going to slow it down. But Ahrefs is important because SEO is important for us. GA4, HubSpot is important for us. Appify or API-ify, whatever you want to call it, for, for powerful research and scraping. So I'm actually going to show you how I look at competitors in a second in terms of the ads that they're running. Gong is important for us for sales intelligence. Zapier, if you want to hook in other things. Um, we're actually going to have the, the the CEO of Zapier on the on the pod on my YouTube channel uh, relatively soon. So that's uh, leveling up with Eric Sue. You can check that out. Just look at it this way. If you have a lot of ideas as a marketer or a founder or some type of leader, you have way more leverage now there's no excuse for you to just not to get things done faster and then the thing is if you know how to do this and let's say you're founder of the company imagine if you taught your entire team how to do this how much faster are you going to do it in fact i ran this through chat gbt i said i said hey chat gbt you know as a founder am i supposed to even be doing this right now like this seems like you know this seems like a something somebody else should do this right but I thought about it. I was like, well, if I learn how to do it and then we teach the entire team how to do it, that's extremely high leverage. And ChatGPT rated it one through 100, 97 out of 100. And obviously, you know, ChatGPT can can be very, uh, it can be a people pleaser. But um, I do think it's a very high leverage thing you can do if you're watching this right now. And if you're a leader, it would be a disservice to your company to not have your team figure out how to do this. Like if they can be five, 10 times faster, why wouldn't you do that? Right. So anyway. I'm going to show you how to make one of these sub agents right now. So um, again, I'm in cursor. I'm going to hit run Claude code over here. And then I'm just going to simply type in agents. Okay. So this will activate the sub agents. I'm going to make a new agent with you real time right now. Okay. And I'm going to generate with Claude this. You can make the prompt manually yourself or you can generate with Claude. And I'm actually going to dictate it out right in front of you all right now. And so again, I'm using Super Whisper and I'm going to, I'm going to mention what I want to do. We want to have the ultimate content repurposing agent. And we want this to pull from my long form YouTube videos especially my podcasts that are long form, maybe 30 minutes, maybe they're an hour, sometimes they're 90 minutes or so. And I want you to pull the best possible moments and I want you to give me four hooks for each viral piece of content. And I want you to score each concept one through 100 in terms of the virality potential. And then I want you to write the body copy too. I want you to do this for X. I want you to do this for LinkedIn. And I want you to write the captions for short form video, that being TikTok, Reels, and YouTube Shorts. And I I also want you to write a newsletter post for this piece as well. That's what I want you to create. I want a content repurposing sub agent and I want you to pull from different podcasts or YouTube links that I'm putting in or maybe even podcast links that I'm putting in and or even content that I'm sharing. And I want you to repurpose for each channel. So, you know, if it's coming in from X, then I want you to repurpose it for LinkedIn and maybe repurpose it for a short form ideation. And if it's coming in from a long form video YouTube, then I want you to repurpose it for the other channels and and then kind of, uh, you know, have it be interchangeable. Okay, so I just dictated that out it looks like it just came out so i'm gonna hit enter and it's generating this agent now so it's it's really not that hard for you to create a sub agent it's it's not as scary as you think it actually is and the prompts that it actually creates is is pretty damn good already so we're gonna run this for the first time so it's while while we let this one create i'm actually going to show you another piece if we take a look at this is using the appify or apiify in this case i actually had it scrape Google ads to look at Google ads library. And you can obviously just open up Google's ad, ad, ads library if you want, but I'd rather just work within a terminal. And so in this case, I did this for fun, but podcast co-host Neil's over here. You got Power Digital, you got Tenuity, you got Seer Interactive. Again, I don't look at all these as direct competitors, but I wanted to see what they're running from a paid ad standpoint. And so you can see for Google ads, Tenuity is running 42 paid keywords, roughly driving 4,300 visitors a month. I think this is pulling from Ahrefs or maybe just maybe just Appify scraping it. I'm not sure. And they're, they're estimating they're spending 1,700 a month. They're driving them to nine landing pages. Power Digital, 63 keywords, 1300, 1505, and then three pages. But it does show you tenuity. Here's what's happening right now. So primarily they're driving them to the services page and then they're going for marketing agency, Amazon, digital marketing, 2B ads. Um, so it shows they're going after streaming TV, right? Amazon and geographic focus might be Los Angeles. Not 100% sure. You're going to have to do more analysis there. And then these are the pages being advertised. But with Power Digital, I like their approach because it's, it's very focused. And so they are going for digital marketing agency near me, digital marketing agency, Los Angeles. Heavy focus on local search plus lead magnets, Los Angeles market, and then growth plan landing page. That's one. And then um, they have a CMO guide, which is lead magnet, right? So that's what I'd say. You, you can also have this happen for Meta. You can do this for LinkedIn as well. And so by 
Amplify can scrape a lot of different things, but you know, by, by showing you this, this is just actually just one of the MCPs and it's, it's, it's actually not one of the agents over here. Okay. So by the way, this agent just finished building. Okay. So I'm going to say, I want it to have access to all tools and I'm going to continue. And then this one is around content creation. Maybe I'll have it be green content repurposing strategist. Okay. So agent has access to all the tools. Now I'm going to play around with this. And so maybe what I do now is I make a new instance. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to pull up one of my YouTube videos. Give me one second over here. So YouTube, and then I'm going to pull from leveling up, which is one of my YouTube channels. Go out there and subscribe. I'm going to pull from this one over here. That was, it's, it's a long form that I did with Neil from marketing school. I am going to open up cursor again. So I'll say, I want you to use the content repurposing strategist agent to repurpose this YouTube. YouTube long form podcast. And then you can see I just pasted it. And then now you have it working. And while I have it working, so you can see it's it's thinking over here, which is beautiful. Maybe I'll let it think. And by the way, I have all these other things, monthly HubSpot analysis, monthly gong call breakdown, and then it can break down how we've been trending with conversions or who we should be following up with. What are the neglected leads? What are some other strategies we should be going after? Um, all that stuff adds up. And so right now this, by, by the way, so what's happening here is the content re repurposing agent isn't among them. So sometimes it takes a while. Final step, I didn't confirm it, right? So now I just confirmed it. I'm going to try it again. Let's try again. I forgot to activate the agent. Okay. While we let that work, I'm going to take a look at, uh, so we looked at the competitors, current LinkedIn content optimization. Okay, let's take a look at this one. So this one is, it's, I actually had a prompt initially that asked it to show me the content that's being cannibalized, right? And so maybe it's not, maybe it's not here, but I do have one around the content being cannibalized, um, but we'll leave that alone for now. And then here, what I'm actually trying to do, you're going to be able to get this to a point where you can have the A-B tests be pushed to Vercel and, or you can have it pushed to your, your, your CMS. So you can basically get it to 90% there, or you can deploy it yourself if you want to, but I prefer to have a human in a loop in these situations. But in this case over here, these are some of the ideas. Yeah, what I showed earlier, like these things can be deployed, but I, I want to take it to the next step. And so what I would recommend here is that you can go to Upwork and find someone who's really good with Cursor and Claude. If you're good with Cursor, you probably know how to figure out Claude code. Hire this person and then have, have them be your tutor. And so that, that's literally what I have happening right now. And it's been a good use of my time because they can set up Claude code for me. And then what you can do afterwards, and whenever you run into a block or what I do is I, I just record a Loom video and then I go ahead and I, I, I send it to them, right? If you're struggling with B2B marketing, you've got to check out Carrot. Carrot allows you to personalize your LinkedIn ads in minutes, not weeks. It also allows you to create personalized landing pages, and you also have influence pipeline reporting that will show you exactly if your B2B campaigns are performing. If you want to get on the Carrot waitlist, all you have to do is go to carrot.ai to learn more. Join us on the crusade to make B2B marketing easier. Let's see if this repurposing thing is working. Okay, it's working. Okay, da, da, da. okay perfect found that agent. Okay, okay. So it's... Looks like it has the wrong video over here, but let's see if it found the right, the right thing. Whistleblower revelation moment, top viral moment. Okay, so what needs to happen here is I would actually go to this uh, the agent and try to refine the prompt because it's not working on um, it's not working off the right video. So let's try to repurpose this one. You can see how quickly you can make these these sub agents, and then one you're gonna get your analysis done a lot faster. I can hook it in with my QuickBooks. I can hook it in with my Stripe. I can hook it in with um, other other tools out there. I can hook it in with the, I think there's a Clay MC p2 so i can have it prospect for me i can have it help with recruiting you can email those people too i can have it message people on on linkedin i can probably have it text people too so you decide how complex you want to you want to make it um and, and go from there but look I, it turns out so i i put the the right I, I just linked again and then this time it's it's working through the video okay so it's so it, it's figuring out its, its own way of, of getting through it giving it three most uh key moments such as blah 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 Who's your target audience okay great which approach works best for you so i'll i'll, I'll play around with this but I think that's good enough for, for this video. I think if you want it, maybe there'll be a part two for this video. So there's going to be a part two. But if you're interested in prompts, leave a comment saying prompts below and we will go from there. But hope you enjoyed this one. And if you want to see the next video over here, check out the YouTube channel. But it's going to be on the 12 marketing sub agents that you really need.